Well, we're delighted now to welcome another team who've come to join us from Northern Ireland. Let's meet them in person. They are. My name's Michael McGivern, and I'm a civil servant. I'm Janet Copeland, and I'm a French teacher from Ardenvay High School in Antrim. I'm David Beatty. I'm also a teacher, and I also teach at Ardenvay School in Antrim. And collectively, they play as a team that they call Carrick Plus One. Janet, we have an awful lot of people who come on this programme who have an undying interest in sport. You apparently have a loathing of it. Total and absolute loathing of sport. Why is that? I think it's because I had a traumatic experience when I was about 11 years old at school sports day, when I was spectating, actually. I was run over by the winner of the 100 metre sprint. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth were you doing in their lane? Well, a teacher said, everybody back, and I didn't move. <laughs> he just ran over the top of me. <laughs> well, let's hope that you're able to stand your ground now as we begin a whole new game of Master Team. We start, of course, as always, with Team, with, uh, team Challenge, which is round one of our competition. So, teams, if you'd like to put your fingers on the buzzers, and you are ready... Let's play. Upon which planet was Dr. Spock born? Janet. Vulcan. No. Too late. It was Earth. He's a pediatrician. Sagittarius is a constellation in the southern hemisphere. What does this Latin name mean? Graham. The Archer. Correct. In which country were the Mau Mau in revolt against... David. Kenya. Correct. Which former England cricket captain stood as a conservative candidate against James... Roger. Ted Dexter. Correct. In the 1930s, an opera house was built in the grounds of the home of a former Eton master. Roger. Blind porn. Correct. She died in 1953 and was the first woman. David. Edith Piaf. No. Incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition and full question. She died in 1953 and was the first woman to be a British cabinet minister. Who was she? Graham. Margaret Bonfield. Correct. In which group did John Lennon and Paul McCartney first perform? Mike. The Silver Beatles. No, incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition and full question. In which group did John Lennon and Paul McCartney first perform together? Too late, it's the quarry men. What did the American politicians John Garner, Henry Wallace and Harry Truman... Michael. They all serve for two terms. No, incorrect challenge. Bonus point to the opposition and full question. What did the American politicians John Garner, Henry Wallace and Harry Truman have uniquely in common? Roger. They all succeeded... No, a they, dying were, president. they were all Franklin D. Roosevelt's vice presidents. What is the word meaning revelation in Greek used for a prophetic description of the end of the world? Mike. Armageddon. No. Janet. Apocalypse. Correct. Yes, it had to be one or the other, didn't it? An apocalypse, indeed it is. So at the end of that first round, the scores are that the Heathrow mushrooms have nine, carrot plus one have four. And you probably noticed that first question of ours was a bit tricky upon which planet was Dr. Spock born. I think Janet was thinking of Mr. Spock from the Star Trek series. Indeed, he was born on Vulcan, but Dr. Spock, the paediatrician, indeed came from Earth. Now, we go into our first spotlight round, and uh, Mushrooms, you get first choice to put a member of the carrot team into the spotlight. Who is it going to be? David, please answer. David, you get first choice and you've got all six subjects up there on the board. They are geography, sport, cinema, food and drink, current affairs, pop music. Sport, please, Andrew. Sport to be your spotlight subject, David. If you are ready, it means you're on your own for one minute and your time starts. Now, who said football is not a matter of life and death? It's more important than that. Bill Shank. Correct. In Australia, it's known as a bosey. What is it called in England? Quigley. Correct. In which sport does the ball weigh no more than two and a half grams? Table tennis. Correct. Who was the first woman tennis player to achieve the Grand Slam? Maureen Coleman. Correct. What nationality is motor racing driver Nelson Piquet? Brazilian. Correct. Who won the fencing gold for Great Britain at the 1956 Olympics? Pass. Gillian Sheen. Who owned both Arkle and the 1985 Grand National winner Last Suspect? Duchess of Westminster. Correct. Who is the outstanding Polish footballer who moved from Juventus to Roma in 1985? Boniek. Correct. Where were this year's World Student Games held? Zagreb. Correct. In lawn tennis, how much wider than a singles court is a doubles court? Six feet. Nine feet. Who beat Barry McGuigan in Las Vegas in 1986? Cruz. Correct. What profession is common to Jeff Capes, Lasseveren and Ray Reardon? Policeman. Correct. Who won the 1986 Commonwealth Games? It's still yours. Who won the 1986 Commonwealth Games? Heptathlon. 
Judy Simpson. Correct. David. <laughs> what an excellent round that was, David, because that is the highest score we've had for anybody in the spotlight. 22 points beating the previous highest score of 20. So well done, David. You can rest on your laurels for a while now as you and the rest of your team now choose a member of the Heathrow Mushrooms to go into the spotlight. We'll go for Graham. Graham, you can choose from geography, cinema, food and drink, current affairs or pop music. Geography, please, Angela. Geography as your spotlight subject, Graham. If you're ready, your one minute in the spotlight starts. Now, in which county is Stonehenge? Wiltshire. Correct. What is the name of the sea between Australia and New Zealand? Tasman. Correct. Upon which river does Washington, D.C. stand? Potomac. Correct. What is the capital of Bermuda? Nassau. Hamilton. In which country are the Laurentian Mountains? USA. Canada. What is the name of the Belgian Canal opened in 1939 which connects the River Meuse at Liège with the River Scheldt at Antwerp? Pass. The Albert Canal. Which European state includes the islands of Zeeland, Funen and Lolland? Denmark. Correct. In which Indian city is the Palace of the Winds? Calcutta. Jaipur, what is the name of the promontory which lies at the extreme northern tip of County Donegal? Malinhead. Correct. What range of hills can be found on the Isle of Skye? The Coolin. Correct. Which island group, apart from the Falklands and South Georgia, make up... It's still yours. Which island group, apart from the Falklands and South Georgia, make up the British Falklands dependencies? South... Don't know. We've only got half of it, the South Sandwich Islands. Graham, at the end of that round, you've scored 12 points in the spotlight. Your team now has 21. <laughs> so with the score lines 21 to the Mushrooms and 26 to Carrick plus one, it means we have just five points between the teams as we play the round that offers up five bonus points. It's called In a Spin, so why don't we get on with it and spin the letters? <laughs> G is the first letter of the sequence and has to be the first letter of your word, with T and I to follow in that order, and your 30 seconds starts now. up teams would you put your pencils down please mushrooms first of all how many letters are there in your word 11 11 thank you and uh, Carrick how many letters are there in your word please 22 thank you well she said that with conviction didn't she but uh, I wonder what the word is well we're gonna have to wait until tomorrow to find out uh, because we've come to the end of today's program but of course we will be back tomorrow just remember the score lines there the Heathrow mushrooms are on 21 Carrick plus one are on 26 five bonus points begging and they will go to whichever word is acceptable to our lexicographer if it's